Welcome back adventurers to the continued adventures of Chile in Victoria 3 as we get to the achievement Educated. Year is 1894. We're making decent progress. Uh, we've been focusing on our economy and it is doing well. Um, let's have a look here. We are uh, ranked 14th in the world. A minor power. Um, we have a uh, GDP of uh, 28.6 million, also number 14 worldwide. Our GDP per capita is apparently the number one worldwide. Not sure if that's true because uh, usually there are some values that need to be initialized at the beginning. Uh, it's still number one in the world. Okay, our literacy is uh, rising. We are at 79.5%. That is very nice. That is good. Um, and what does it say here? Number 17 worldwide. Okay, that's a bit lower. Yeah, the Spanish Philippines are higher than us. And Kathiri. Oh. Okay, we need to do something about that. Yeah, so more universities, I guess, um, because there's no other like school building, educational building that we can build, as far as I know. So our standard of living is number two worldwide. is really, really good. Yeah. We can be proud of that. Uh, we have a population of two point, no, let's say three million. It is rather low for like the GDP and so on that we make. So I would like some um, more people to come and live in our country. Number of radicals is rising again, but it is still pretty low. Yeah, and we have more loyalists, so that is good. They're happy with our policies in general. Mm, loyal, happy, happy. The industrialists are neutral, but even the armed forces are happy. And we're going to make them even more happy. Um... And even the marginalized interest groups, such as the rural folk, the landowners, and the Catholic Church are happy. Despite our liberalization, but okay, that is very nice. Um, our institutions are doing pretty well. We actually have some surplus authority. And uh, we could upgrade some of this, maybe. Um... We are currently not trying to pass any laws, so that is something maybe that we should look into. Carmen, how old are you now? 62. Okay, it's not too bad. But uh, you do like the bottle a little bit too much. 100% legitimacy, that's always nice. So we're doing good here. Yeah, we might want to switch to protectionism. It will change our income, right? Because currently we have 50% tariffs on imports and 5% on exports. So protectionism would be an equal 10% on import and exports. It would give us a lower revenue, apparently, that's predicted. The trade unions and the rural folks want this, but on the trade unions are in the government, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're ready to go for free trade. No, but this is possible. This is possible. Maybe we should do that. Um, I think we're good with proportional taxation. Uh, 
Defense is such. We could try and go for universal suffrage. Who opposes this? The armed forces and the industrialists. Mm. And we wanted to change the migration controls. Right? But there is no support for it, even though this, as far as I understand, it shouldn't have any effect because we don't we do not have any discriminator pops. I would like to go to no migration controls and just let anybody come who wants to work. Mm. This actually does have support and that would mean an even higher work rate. Workforce ratio. Right. So that would be opposed by the landowners in the Catholic Church, of course. And, but we don't care about them. It's endorsed by the trade unions. That is good. So, go for universal suffrage and then women's suffrage or women's first literate women, that is, then and then universal. I guess, yeah. This is good. We do want to change this eventually. But it's going to cost us money. Yeah, and here we may, we actually would like to have conscription. Local militias or even mass conscription. This would really help us. But the armed forces wouldn't like this. Because they would become less important, I guess. Get amateurs in it. Hmm. I don't think that is what we want. But before we do that, I think we should go for women's suffrage. So let's do that. All right. And we're making progress slow, but certain progress with our um, colonies here. All right. Um, markets. Okay. I was looking at this. We have like 300 available convoys. We can export some liquor, for example. And then maybe import iron. Is there even? This is only small little bits. Yeah. And dye. Also small amounts. We're actually making a surplus of tools, but only a tiny little bit. So that's not going to last. But we are making a lot more liquor than that we're consuming, which is a good thing. We're finally also making more food, more grain than we're consuming. Fertilizer. Okay. 
sulfur and ammunition. Well, that will change when we are going to upgrade our army, which is what is coming next. Um, so liquor. To export liquor. Um, yeah, only small amounts, right? Only small amounts. Well, Austria. Yeah, I guess. And maybe the French. And the British, why not? Okay, we have plenty. Um, so that's liquor. What about dye? We're importing dye, but it's unproductive. How much dye do we have? That's for import. We don't have enough. We have like more than triple the amount of buy orders than we have sell orders. Okay. Let's see if we can... From Argentina. Hmm. Well, for now, let's do that. Something like that. We, we still need more, right? All right. Let's see how that works out. Oliver and Steel. And engines. Yeah. They're just not, there isn't, there aren't enough on the market for us. We need to make more ourselves because we can't import enough of them. Right? We need fabric, for example, also. But uh, we were looking at engines, right? We need 61 more engines. Okay, so they're a tiny bit expensive. It's not too bad. Iron. Hmm. So, fabric. Um, how much more do we need? 150. All right. That should at least improve things. Yeah. That should at least improve things. Good. So I'm satisfied with that. And then... I was looking at um, this before. We have a lot of infrastructure here now that we're not using. So I think we can cancel the road maintenance. Right. That gives us extra uh, authority to use for something else. Such as attracting people. Although we are attracting some people. There are some unemployed people here. So that's pretty good. Uh, in Los Rios... 
we are also attracting people. But here the people are moving away. Now we are not really using this land very much. Except for the gold mines. We have a level 2 port. Maybe a naval base here would be good. And here... We're doing actually pretty well. The annual projected migration is more than 100%. So they will double their population in a year. That's amazing. So we should start developing this. Probably. The fishing wharfs are not doing well. They have no people working for them. I guess we need to subsidize them. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at our military because we only have 13 units, uh, battalions, and a possible 13 conscript battalions. And we are a bit behind with our uh, methods here. This will cost us money, but we do have money. And bicycle messages will mean we need rubber, which we don't have. And it isn't available anywhere on the market. It is. But not at any good rates. So what are you going to do about that? It will be negative trade revenue. Yeah. Well, let's get some from the Brits then. And see at least if we can upgrade these. And maybe even these bicycle messages. Why not? Uh, standardized infantry. Machine gunners. We need automatic machine guns. And here we will need opium, which is also hard to get. Opium. See? Uh-uh. Yeah. So we'll have to do it without opium. And our navy. We can go for monitors, yes. And uh, we need uh, to invent destroyers. And we can go for torpedo boats. We need to invent submarines. And here we can go for Je ne Col. Okay. Let's see what that means for our economy. It means good things so far. Is that still going up? Yeah. Rubber discovered. Okay, that is great. So we can produce our own rubber. Dye is cheaper. Groceries are cheaper. And the rest also looks pretty good. All right. Uh, Eastern New Guinea, here, yeah, Rubber Rush, ah, oh, there's a double event here, 
Rubber has been successfully grown in Chile and eastern New Guinea. The fragile nature of these trees and their difficult to meet conditions make this achievement exceptionally important. The Amazonian rubber monopoly is finally over. Those beautiful trees have decided to grow elsewhere after multiple unsuccessful attempts. Those stubborn little things. And now it is our duty to end those greedy tycoons' empires. This place seems to be the most effective. Discover resources in rubber plantation of Chile and Eastern New Guinea. Rain. And there is another one here. Same, this seems to be most effective. Yes, okay. Nice. So now we have... Didn't it say it would improve migration? Anyway. Uh, can we do that? Can we get uh, greener grass? Well, we still have a lot of population, but they're all employed. What are they employed at? Coffee plantations. Hmm. Um, yeah, I do think we need greener grass here. And let's build those rubber plantations. Do we have a port? Yeah, we have a port here. All right. Then uh, let's see how that goes. Mm. Yeah, that's that's still the best. Though. That's this one. There should be rubber here too, but we haven't discovered it yet. I was actually looking at a banjar here that already has discovered rubber. And maybe uh, conquer that for our rubber needs. Uh huh. What is this? What do you want? Trade agreement. Why not? The so rubber is cheaper. Small arms glass. Porcelain is expensive as are luxury clothes. Unused construction production. Oh, we just finished building. Yeah, and that's fine. These need convoys. Why? Luxury clothes and porcelain. There's a shortage. And these are unproductive, meaning we're losing money. That is not the end of the world. Yeah, we're definitely going to cancel this one. But this, uh, to increase its level, it needs more convoys, I see. So we need more convoys.
I think if we're going to produce rubber here in any significant amounts. Then um, we need to, the transport, right? Okay, so basically there aren't enough people to work on these plantations. But people are migrating into um, the state. All right. Can we do something like encourage resource industry? Isn't that for rubber as well, throughput? Plantations, there's a plantation, so agricultural industry. Hmm, maybe. I think the people will come. Right? Especially now that we're subsidizing it. Okay. Yeah, we're... We're losing some money, but we need this um, because we changed our armies to uh, bicycle messengers. So rubber, currently 13 buy orders, 58 sell orders is very cheap. Okay. That means we can expand our military. Right, we're in the positive. Alright, so I want to go over here and see what we can do here with immigration. We have 200 authority now. Yeah. And we only have the Tax on services. Right. This goes by eight and a half K, but then our people do have more to spend. We would lose half of our income if we lower taxes here. Okay. Hmm, here it's going down. So the 101% that was fluke. I don't know. Okay, let's do here in Santiago, greener grass, and in Los Rios, greener grass. And then when we get more authority, we can expand that. All right, so um, expanding our army, right? We said. And also conscription centers then. Mm. Uh, 
And what are we researching? Nothing. Yeah, electric railways, that's right. So then we should switch to some military research, probably. Like destroyers, trench works. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we have Santiago Los Rios. And then we have the Navy in Santiago. Yeah, that's the thing. There are no peasants. There are not enough qualifications. Not sure how that's going to work. Let's see with this. And we're losing money. We still have an investment pool, but... Okay. We're back up again. Yeah, Robert discovered in Celebes and in North Sumatra. What do you mean, North Sumatra? Yeah, it's not ours. Uh, somewhere here then, I guess. This Archer, this North Sumatra. Okay. Yeah. Rubber Rush. Mariana Gamara, the leader of the trade unions, delivered a fiery speech advocating for the enactment of women's suffrage. They should ease the path to reform greatly. Yeah, we don't need more right now. Because uh, I think we're uh, saturating the market as is. Um, it's the one with the ladle, right? Here, see? We're making way more than we need. We could even export some of that. Right, we can always cancel those when we need more for ourselves. But in the meantime, let's make some money. Okay, so small arms are more expensive. Yeah, of course. Um, and artillery. So we need to boost those industries. happening here We're fully employed but running out of cash reserves why arms industries they can make breech loaders that means more artillery fewer small arms okay Munition plants. Why are they not making money? 
fully employed because it's so cheap. Ah, we have plenty of munition for now. Uh, yeah, we need some more small arms and more artillery. So it's the arms industries that we need more of, not the munition at this point. Power plants are losing money. Okay. And we want more educated people, more qualifications. So we should look at expanding that, but there's nobody to work them. Let's build one in Patagonia to start with. Yeah. And then see where that leads us. So our population is really growing now. That is good. Women's suffrage is still uh, slowly gaining support. That will help as well. All right, wait a moment here. Uh, small arms, somewhat cheaper. Artillery, somewhat cheaper. Yeah, we still need more. Okay, but we're still building more, so that's good. Floating harbor unlocked, okay. We're still working on electric railways. What does floating harbor give us actually? Here, yeah. plus one port max level. Okay. We now have women's suffrage, plus 50% workforce ratio. Good. Lower birth rates though, but yeah, it's a trade-off. But we have uh, immigration now, right? No. No. So what are we doing this greener grass thing for? if people aren't actually migrating to our state. We do have some unemployed people, so that means we should be able to build more in Santiago, right? Do they have the right qualifications though? That's the question. So I think we should expand the university there. Uh, is that here? No, it's an urban, right? University, Santiago, let's go for more, maybe even two more. Five active, so we can expand one more in Santiago, right? Um, why is it only four out of five active then? Why it's four? We need to build more ironclads, maybe vacancies.
Hmm. It's under development for some reason. Uh, this will grow naturally. Hmm. Let's see if we can become a major power. Right, Syllabus is doing rather well. It's an enormously growing population. They have unemployed people. And suddenly small arms are very expensive. Okay, um, so we should expand our industries here. Uh, we need some dye, right? We need a naval base here. I mm, don't know about that. Why are they not productive? Fully employed. Ah, they could go for like vapor bleaching, yes. And. Rotary valve. Better production methods. Yeah. And these. Fully employed. Let's add one more. We will always need more motors, more engines. What's the price of paper currently? Yeah, we're making more than we're... Than we're I mean, this is surplus. That's what I mean. Mm. Why are these not doing well? Small arms. Can we make them here? Yeah. Hmm. 
if we build some power plants here, then we can use electricity, right? Steel mills, electric arc process. Okay, great. We need to be making more steel, apparently. And tools. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Um, electricity. Let's do one here. And then see what our market needs. Small arms porcelain. Tea. Wine. Should we close? Oh, yeah, we wanted to make buildings. Shipyards. Hmm. And this one is making civilian ships. Okay. We're not consuming a lot of ammunition. Okay. Can we export some? I'm sure we can. Argentina wants ammunition. Hmm. But we kind of have in the back of our mind plans to take over Argentina eventually. But it helps us for now. To get the productivity up here, hopefully. Did we just stop subsidizing them? Then they will just employ fewer people until they reach an equilibrium in price. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's better. Steel. Apparently, we need steel mills. Can we make steel mills in uh, this, Celebes? Not enough qualifications. Let's. Try and make one there. Let's 
see what's going on here with our steel mills in Santiago. Are we subsidizing them? No, we're not. Okay. We can go for the electric arc process. That would mean they use more iron and electricity, but they produce more steel. That's just what we need. We have plenty of electricity. Just iron is a bit on the expensive side. We don't make enough of it, so iron mines. Is there enough railroad here? There is, okay. How are we doing here? Population is growing, the colony is growing, and we have rubber plantations working some coffee. Maybe we should build a railway here too. Eight of thirteen, yeah, and here forty eight of ninety six. In Santiago, we're still doing okay there. Yes, okay. Three unemployed, zero unemployed. 1.2k unemployed, 1.3k unemployed. Okay, so we can expand stuff there. They have the infrastructure. Um, what do we need actually? Do we need more coal? No, we have plenty of coal. Okay. And build a naval base here. Expand the barracks. And then let's have a look at the market. Porcelain. And tea, and furniture, and small arms. Hmm, in hardwood apparently, and tools. Okay, and now we're getting a shortage of rubber, so we need to expand our rubber production. Um, where are we? Los Rios, tools. And maybe we should build one here as well. 
Is there already a university or not? To get some more qualified people. Okay, how are we doing with um, the military now? Okay. That's expanding nicely, but that means we need another general, don't we? Because this general only can take 25 units. And we now have, like, practically double that with the conscripts. Yeah. Highest explorer or a brave explorer who's also an offensive planner? I think we'll go for him. Okay, we're almost done here with the colonization. Right? There's only this little bit here that is left. The rest is uh, some other nation. And then we can incorporate that. And then we can uh, colonize this faster. All right. Our prestige is growing, but we're still only number 14. Power production 297. 366. Artillery. Arms industries. Cash reserves are down to zero. Oh, because hardwood is expensive. Okay, let's see about that. Logging camps. We need more logging camps. You can go for electric sawmills. Okay. That's good. So we have hardwood, right, in Santiago. Softwood here in Los Rios. Softwood here. I guess here we should go for hardwood. Then... They're losing workers. They're just not making enough money. Electric railways unlocked. Colonization of Celebes completed. All right. So... Steamers are more, more cheap. Yeah, artillery is still rising in price because of all our army expansion. Okay. What if we move this to hardwood production? Then that should be making more money, right? The 
they're still losing money. They don't even have electricity uh, in eastern New Guinea. Finish building the railway. Okay. Land of plenty. A country's high standard of living has resulted in a widespread sense of contentment with the status quo favoring Mariano Gamara and the sitting radical party in the ongoing elections. Change? Why would I want change? I've got a full belly, a happy wife, and a good job. Why would I squander that, chasing what might be? If it's not broken, why fix it? That is indeed very good. All right, and uh, we need a new research. What shall we do? Shall we go for destroyers or trench works? I think we should go for trench works. Trench works. Here, I think we're good. This, maybe, at least for analytical philosophy. Yeah, that is many years down the line. Okay. And here, we have combustion engine, nitrogen fixation, telephone. We're being exposed to that. That's good. And pasteurization. That would be helpful, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's focus on um, the military for now. Do that. We have an election in 35 days. And... Um, this... Has been colonized as much as we are capable. We can incorporate it. It will cost us 125 bureaucracy, which we currently do not have. I think we do want to incorporate it. Because then they're also going to pay us taxes, right? And uh, they're doing pretty well. They're providing us quite a few uh, products that we need. <laughs> Migration plus 100k. It's, it's going to be our third biggest state. So we should incorporate it, but that means we need to... We don't have government administration here. Definitely need that. In fact, we will want that first. This one a bit later. Something like that. 
Okay. Then let's uh, see what the election does for us. And what our situation is then. The radical party won 93%. Thank <laughs> okay. And let's get that government administration in. Yeah, I know we have a free government reform possible, but there is no need. There is no need. 100% legitimacy. So how much more is that going to give us? Not a whole lot. Until they're fully employed. Hmm. 102. 120. Okay. That should be enough to incorporate it. It's now 133. Whatever. That's fine. We can... Oh, 21 years. My goodness. Since his homelands have nothing in common with any cultures in Chile. Okay. Yeah, they cannot vote, but they are exempt from taxation. So... We do want them, because this is going to be big. We do want them incorporated. Yeah, we already said we don't want that. Why can't I click that away? All right, I think this is a good um, point to wrap up the episode. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Make sure you've subscribed if you aren't already. And um, I'll see you next time.